Hey guys, what's up? It's Evelyn 2117 here playing The Darkness 2. If you guys are wondering, Jake, why are you playing such an old game? Because it was only $20 when I got it today. And, um, because it's been out for a very long time. If you guys think, oh, this game's gonna suck. Actually, it's it's very fun. If any of you guys really enjoy, like, demon stuff and, like, superpowers, this is just the game for you. Um, besides the cuss words and all the stuff like that, I have uh, played this game before, but I've, I beat the entire game by just renting it because I heard this game is very short, but it is a lot of fun to play. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough, and I won't be saying stuff before it happens. I'll just be playing it because it's been a while since I played this game, so, um, let's get started. I do with Mobster, because that's second difficulty. Just set it to this, like, default, because, uh, you don't need it anymore. Let's do previously in darkness, because obviously you guys are going to want to see everything that happened in the story, because the old darkness game, terrible graphics, you barely get to do anything, except use guns. So, let's get started. Okay, you know how this story starts. In the beginning, there wasn't shit. Literally, nothing but void and darkness. And that's how the darkness liked it. It wasn't until God decreed, turn on the lights, that things got nasty. It started out small. A, a, a planet here, a, a sun there, you, you know. Next thing you know, there were humans and cows and, and, and then stuff running all over the place. Needless to say, the darkness was pissed. From then till now, the darkness Pour its way through the world, inhabiting one human host after another, each thinking that they were its master. But you can't own the darkness. The darkness owns you. Fast forward to one Jackie Estacado. You know his type. No family, no hope, no future. He ended up about what you'd expect, busting heads for the French Hetty crime family. Life as a whole was pretty dark for Jackie. Then came his 21st birthday, and, and things got a whole lot darker. And then you, you, you might think that inheriting superpowers would, would be pretty cool for Jackie, you know, being in the business of killing people and all. And if not for the demon living inside of him, you'd be right. See, the darkness it didn't just make Jackie stronger, it, it, it made him a god. But only when the lights were out. Next thing you know, the mob turns on Jackie, marks him for death, just like that. It was the New York City mob versus Jackie and the darkness. But as dark as things were for Jackie, there was a light in his life. And, and, and her name was Jenny. Now, now, now these kids, they, they went way back. I don't think anybody would disagree that they were meant for each other. If anything, that's the real tragedy in all this. See, the mob was still after Jackie. Now, they thought the quickest way to get him would be to take away, you know, his, his only reason for living. Killing Jenny was just about the dumbest thing the mob could have done. See, because without her, Jackie not only had nothing left to live for, he had nothing left to lose. As for the darkness, Jackie's kept it locked away for years, you know, but it doesn't matter how hard he tries. No one can hold back the night. If he can't control this thing inside him, pretty soon there won't be anything left. Jackie will be nothing but an empty shell. And that's just how the darkness likes it. Right around the time he died, my father said to me, he said, Jackie, you can't outrun your fate, but you sure as hell gotta try. I didn't really know what he meant back then. See, there was something inside me, something terrible, waiting to get out. And when it did, it made me watch the only thing I ever cared about. Get her brains blown out right in front of me. Then it gave me the power to make things right. The kind of stuff you only see in your worst nightmares. The killing only made it stronger, harder to control. Eventually, I found a way to bury it. But ever since, it's been trying to get back out. It calls itself... The Darkness. Alright, I'm ready for this. It's been a while since I 
Jack Eads, good to see you. Come on in. Hiya, Vinny. How's your family? Which one? Hey, Jackie. Check out the rack on the brunette to your right. Okay. No, no. Your other right. That's his left, dipshit. Hey, Jackie, check it out. They put up a picture of your dad. He was a good man, your father. Good man. Well, look, this ain't no time to be depressed. Come on, boss. They got your usual table ready. Apparently, when I first started this, um, I was kind of dumb. Twins are waiting for you. So, Terrific. Uh, hey, I didn't know the difference hey, between yo, boy, left you and got right. your tickets to the game. My treat. All right, take so care. Joey, what's and, what? Uh, yeah, oh, Mr. Galvani, nice to have you back in town. This ravioli's too spicy. I can't My taste approach. the flavor. Oh, Billy, how you doing? Not bad. Hey, waiter, I'll take this to go. Chop, chop, I gotta run. Let's oh, move. Sorry about that, Gaston. Here you go, boss. It's the twins from Dead Rising 2. Spoiler alert. Bon appetit. Hi, Jackie. Not really. Remember us from the candy club? Well, it's funny because they're twins well, and they're both blonde. Do you? No, wait. Sure he does. Trust me, ladies. I wish I did. <laughs> Whatever said you could tell. Oh. oh shit! Jackie, get down! Jackie, you stay with me now. Oh, shit. Look at his leg. Benny, what are we doing? You guys take point. I'm going to pull Jackie out back. Jackie, listen to me. I'm going to pull you out back, but you got to take this. Keep these guys off our ass. Yeah. Benny, I'm going to slaughter these pigs. Oh. Oh. Jackie. Oh. Come to the dark. Catch my breath. I lost it too. Oh, you gotta give me a second, Jackie. I ain't been to the gym in weeks. Oh, I just to the gym. Oh, Jesus Christ! Give me all my backs! Boss, listen. I hate going you can see the, the kitchen from here. It's like we can make a break for it, but you gotta take both pieces so I can lift you up. All right. I'm like the most Gas. Hurry up, Vinny! Uh -oh. They're in there! That's us. Quick, give me a lighter. Come on, Vinny. Seriously. Burn in hell, Estacado! Wow, no! You played the demo, it's sort of a little bit different because I switch had switched around cutscenes. I never played the demo, but I watched it. After I beat the entire game, like this was, uh, I think last week. Never, never again. 
again, you son of a bitch! I am your salvation. <laughs> mm. Stronger than his father. Keep pushing him. Still breathing, huh, motherfucker? Come on, come over here. I got something for you. Yeah, I got something for you too. Embrace the diabolous Jackie. Doing this man, you're a good painter and all, but I have to You need me. Yeah, I know. I'm just putting in the moment. You want me? Shut up! I'm trying to make this. Alright, screw it. You're gonna die. I'm free! just happened, Benny? Who hit us? I don't know, boss. I don't know. After the explosion, I saw some guy with a limp. He had some weird-looking fucks with him. I, nobody I recognized, though. Where'd that piece of shit go? Ah, they headed down the alley. The rest of our crew's out front, so you can meet up with him on the street. But I'll be right there. I just... just need to get my wind back. Give him hell, Jackie. Let me introduce you to my two best friends here. Some of that old Jackie is the god of magic. Hey, you get out of here. Go ahead. Go. I'll be okay. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'd like you guys to meet my the best friends. The rest of the guys are out on the street, boss. This. Head down the alley and meet friends. up with them. Left one. His name's Grabby. No, I actually have the name for this guy. But anyway. Ain't you supposed to be somewhere else? Grab stuff. And the one on the right is probably my favorite. Can't stay back here, boss. You gotta go after those guys. Place smells like ass. I think we opened up a main. Boom, sucker! Oh, let me die! <laughs> That's what we call the anaconda. I see him! I see you. You just stay.
You again. I was wondering when you were gonna show up. Shh. I got a staccato. He's over here. You're not so tough now, are you? No! <laughs> Monkey, it's been too long. Give us a hug. I'll pass, but thanks for the help. <sighs> What's that smell? You tell me. I came from your noggin. Could you forget that already? Come on then, let's move. <laughs> 